If you have clicking and pain in your jaw joint, essentially here, and you feel the pain is coming from here, and you might have clicking or crunching or grinding noises, or you might find when you open or close your jaw that your jaw is swinging or moving from one side to the other, and you can often feel that there's something in the joint that's stopping it moving freely and smoothly, then you've probably got some disruption within the joint. Most problems in the TMJ start with the disc, and the most common problem with the disc is it becomes displaced, usually in front of the condyle. And the, the condyle means knuckle, and it describes the head of the mandible, which is the lower jaw. And in normal function, that condyle should hinge and then slide forwards to the edge of the joint. And the disc within the joint should remain between the top of the joint, which is the base of your skull, and the condyle. If that disc becomes displaced, then it can cause a clicking or a clunking as the condyle rolls across it. And that's called reducible internal derangement. And that's a common cause of clicking and sometimes painful jaw function. If that disc becomes further displaced, it can impair the condyle from moving as far as it needs to. And quite often patients will describe a situation where they've had clicking for years and then sometimes suddenly they'll feel the disc slip even further and their clicking will stop but they'll find that they can't open their jaw as wide as they would like to, certainly on the affected side. So when they try to open wide, they'll feel there's an obstruction within the joint and their jaw will deviate towards the affected side. And that's called internal derangement without reduction.